Coming up on Fashion Who's Football Challenge, Fash gets blunt with Stroppy Sean. Where do you want to play? You make the seat, you decide. I have decided. You're dropped. Hold on to your stomachs. It's the worst match donkey ever. It's do or die in the league for Fash FC. A draw, a defeat, take your bags and leave, lads, because it's all over. And you can vote for your favourite player to get a chance to win the car. It's crunch time in the league for the lads from Fash FC. After a nail-biting performance against Hendon Town last week, tremendous, tremendous, the lads salvaged a 3-2 victory and climbed up to third in the league table, their highest placing yet. But poor play, injuries and arguments are slowly taking their toll on the team. Shut your mouth and say, OK, Gaffer. I won't do it again. If the lads can hang on to their winning form, the chance to win the Hendon and District League could be in sight. We're not going to finish fourth or fifth. Either it's first or second at the top of the league or it's nothing. It's Wednesday night training. And with Fash FC lying third in the league and only five matches left to play, the lads are beginning to feel the pressure. I think it would be devastating if we walked away with nothing. So, you know, I think each of us as a team will know that we need to sort of like just put in an extra 110%. Every point counts now because we're getting, we're getting close to season finishing and we, we, we want the league. And nobody wants it more than the gaffer. We came here to win. If we don't, it's a bad reflection on my international reputation, Mace's reputation and the player's reputation. And I'm not going to let that happen. And while the gaffer is issuing stern warnings, <laughs> the same cannot be said for normally vocal Mace. In fact, he can't say anything. I've been struggling with a, a flu for the last two weeks. And the last couple of days, my, my voice is now gone. So it's going to be a very quiet Mace tonight. <laughs> So with Mace out of action, the gaffer takes control of the session. What we're going to do this evening, very quickly, we're going to run through throw-ins. We're going to run through free kicks. We're going to run through corners. Why? Because that's an extra goal for us. That's why. There's only three places where you have the ball. Head, feet, and where else? Space. Sean is picked for special attention. As in previous games, he's committed numerous foul throws. Here's the line, here's the line, the yellow line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Funny, funny feet. Feet. No. feet. Wait, he said feet. All right, all right. He said feet. Why are you throwing it in his face? I can't throw it to his face. I threw it to the bottom half of his body. Uh, Governor, where did that ball end up? Was that where was that ball? To his head or was it where was it? Chest. Chest? He would have broke his chest. <laughs> <laughs> I've said there's only three places. Head feet and space. Chest didn't come into it. So why are you throwing it to his chest? Let's do it again. Good. Better. Better. So obviously I'm just learning. It's a learning process for me. So, you know, it's all good. It's all good. I know he's picking on me now. As far as we're concerned, the only people who take throw-ins are the full-backs and maybe the midfield. The first people who get to the ball, pass it to somebody else. Look around like you're going to take it. It's always a good one, a good moody. No, 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 no. Okay time wasting. Every time, as if we're winning, play the rules, push it to the maximum. Don't go over it and break the rules, but push it the right way. If we're losing, it's got to be the fullbacks. Boom, 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 every time. If it's Shawnee, then we'll use a midfield man. Three times in one match, you had a foul throw. Three times. So as the lads practice their free kicks, the gaffer spells out that from now on, there will be no free rides in his team even if he is a little confused about exactly how many players there's supposed to be in that team. We've gone past the stage of playing people to see who's the best. I'm playing my first 12, my strongest 12, full stop. If they don't like it, they can walk. It's got to be my first 12 every time now. We cannot carry passengers. And I tell you right now, the 12 know who they are. So the only real question marks remain about who is going to be on the bench. Subs would have to be Aaron, yes, Steve Lacey, P. Diddy, Jason, Ricky. Just put Sean in. No, I don't know. I don't know, Mace. You know, it's, it, it's a toss up. It's a balancing act which I'm trying to do. I'm juggling at the moment between Sean and Ricky. Who's the best? 
Sean's made mistakes, cost us two goals, kicked us out of the cup. Ricky scored own goals, conceded one goal. Mm, which one is it? Let's start with Ricky. OK, so Sean will be sub. So with Sean on the bench and Mark in the stands, the gaffer reminds the team that time is running out. We've got five games left to the end of the season. The only thing we are interested in doing is winning. That means we have to win, 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 win and win. That's five matches, five wins. A draw we ain't interested in. The gaffer's hardball <laughs> approach has left a couple of the players feeling very hard done by. Dropped again, not even on the bench, in the stands uh, with the fans. Three weeks in a row, I'm oh, sorry. Three weeks in a row. I can take it as long as I get an explanation. Well, it feels to me you're saying, well, I don't think you're good enough to even be on the bench. Go and sit in the stand. If Shu gets injured, I'll put one of the players in. It doesn't matter. There's a question mark over your personality. There's a question mark over your ability as a goalkeeper. So far, you've been useless. Oh, I have, well, and yeah, I'm waiting. not going to stand here. I'm useless and I'm useless. If you say you need, you've got to encourage people a little bit as well. But do something to disprove what I can see. Any minute now, I'm just waiting for you to burst into tears. That's what I'm waiting for now. Well, we're going to be here all night then, Gaffer. Come on, cry. Good. Don't walk away from situations. Don't tell me what you think you are. Prove to me on the pitch, once you cross that white line, what you are. Ram these words back down my mouth, which I would love you to do. It's tough when someone keeps telling you you're useless, you're useless in your face. Obviously, everyone gets uh, the odd derogatory comment, but I'm not used to someone that putting me down all the time. So it was, it was, I was not sure how to take it, but I wanted to gaffer what, it was talking sense. I don't want to put my, uh, my point across, and I'm glad, I'm glad I stayed and we, and we sorted it out. But someone who hasn't sorted it out is Sean Bell. If the gaffer wants to hold the grudge, fine. Let him hold the grudge. Let him hold the grudge. I don't care anymore. I really don't care. Seriously, I don't care. I'll be happy when the show's finished, honestly, because this is just absolute bollocks. It's clearly obvious that he's still upset about what happened with the cup game. And um, he's just taking it a grudge. And I just said, look, end of the day, you can't change the past, but you can change the future. I said, all this time I've been on Fash FC, I haven't played in my favourite position. You decide where I play, but I can't actually decide where I want to play. I'm an effective player, but you're not playing me in my effective position. If you want to get in the team, you have to be better. Not as good. You have to be better than Jamie. Then the you challenge have to be is there. better than Sam. Then the challenge is there. You have there. to be better than Jamal. Then the challenge is there. You have to be better than the governor. The challenge is there. And you have to be better than Brenton. The challenge is there. The Are challenge you? is there. Yes. Where do you want to play? Gaffer. You make the sheet, you decide. I have You're decided. the manager. Okay, drop. Fine. Then drop me. Fine, drop me. I decided. Drop me. I don't care, you know, end of the day, there's a, little, there's a word called respect, that's what my mum taught me, respect, there's no respect there, I can't give you respect back, I'm sorry. Anybody out there watching, it's real, it's reality, and if you ain't good enough, you ain't going to be carried. There is nobody here at Fashy FC who's going to carry another player. Still to come on Fashion Who's Football Challenge, Carl gets an eyeball in Fashy's feast. I don't want to hear no. I can't. I don't like it. They're all negative. And man of the match, Sam, gets posh. Hello. Good evening, sir. Good evening. My name is Hardwick. <laughs> I'm your butler for the evening. Final trick of the day. Starting this Sunday in the Sunday Times. Right then. Jeremy Clarkson gives you his good, bad, Ooh. and don't touch it with a barge pole verdict on 60 of the newest cars. Plus, there's a chance to win a new Mazda 6. England versus Germany, and I'd call that 5-1. The Good Car, Bad Car Guide, free only inside the Sunday Times. Crystal Chronicles, James Bond 007 Everything or Nothing, Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes, over 250 games, endless possibilities, all for Nintendo GameCube.
Now at Pizza Hut for just $10.99, you can get a large pan or Italian pizza and new cookie cake creations. Dad. Oh my God. Look, Mum, I made you. It's you, Dad. Wow. wow. <laughs> Lovely. It looks just like me. Pizza Hut. Oh, Mum. Grab a slice of the action. <laughs> Want lasting style that isn't stuck? Pull out your studio. New Studio Line Invisigel from L'Oreal Paris. Create your own studio. Ultra melting texture glides instantly through your hair. Invisifix technology. Doesn't stick. Long lasting hold. No residue. Go out styled, not stuck. <laughs> New Studio Line Invisigel from L'Oreal Paris. Because you're worth it. Hi, I'm from elephant.co.uk and today I'm talking to drivers about their car insurance. So what do you want from your car insurance? I want someone to make car insurance easy. That's OK. Elephant.co.uk is quick and easy to use. You can get a quote in minutes. And because Elephant.co.uk is online, we can save you money on your car insurance. So there you go. Elephant.co.uk really could save you time and money on your car insurance. It's easy, it's fast. It's Elephant.co.uk. I am a passenger And I ride, and I ride I ride through the city backsides I see the stars come However many lives you lead, there is space for them all in the new Fiat Idea. No matter how hard you try to beat some sense into them, some people just haven't got the message yet. Alias is back with a bang. But this time, the only place you can catch it is on Bravo. Why do you think I came back? All new episodes of the sexiest secret agent around. Alias Series 3. Starts Sunday at 9, exclusively on Bravo. Coming up on Fashion News Football Challenge, the match donkey beast has a sting in its tail. This is the world's most deadly And Sam gets a feast of his own. Would you care for a strawberry, Sam? After a dismal performance at last week's match against Hendon Town, Vash gave Ricky Dillon Donkey of the Week. Much to Ricky's delight, he was allowed to pick two players to share the punishment with. He chose Carl and Warren. The rumour is that it's going to be the worst match Donkey ever, so Warren and Carl aren't too happy. When he said my name, I was like, why? Why? Played 10 minutes, scored, and I got Match Donkey. As long as this Match Donkey doesn't involve uh, me eating shit, I don't mind. Oh dear, it's really not Warren's lucky day. The forfeit this week is Fash's Football Feast, a selection of tasty delicacies from the footballing nations around the world. If any player fails to eat from a dish, they'll be given a red card and banned from the next match. Hosting is Big Match reporter Caroline Flack, with Fashion Mace giving moral support. Carl, which country would you like to begin with? Carl chooses Ireland, and inside is one of the most pungent cheeses known to mankind. It's a foul, stinking cheese oh. with a thick crust. Um. Just cheese. Go on. Yeah, that wasn't so well hard. done. That wasn't hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be next 
There you go. Well done, boys. No problem for Ricky and Warren, but Carl doesn't look so confident. Oh, that's horrible. No, don't stress yourself. If you don't want, there's a red card here. It's cheese. So is Carl a cheese man? <laughs> Apparently not. Get away from me, get away from me, get away from me, get away from me. After Carl has recovered, it's Warren's turn to choose and he goes for Argentina. Let me explain, a fiery delicacy that will melt asbestos. Fond of his spicy food, Ricky dives straight in. Well done, Ricky. Well done. Warren seems to think that taking small chunks at a time will help his calls. Don't let it touch your tongue. You break it down like that, your mouth will be on fire before you even get anywhere near there. But has he bitten off more than he can chew? Perhaps these chilies aren't so bad after all. Oh no, they're slow burners. Oh. <laughs> take, take some water. Have some. He did he. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. <laughs> After Warren's put the fire out, Carl tries to swallow his way out of trouble. But the judges are having none of it. You've got to chew it, Carl. She didn't listen to the rules. You've got to chew it. Chew it. Chew it. Chew it. Oh. Carl, you're supposed to chew it. I'm chewing it. <laughs> Once again, the striker finds himself making a run for the bucket. Oh my God. I'm kidding, man. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Did you get red card? Will the judges accept Carl's effort? I don't want to have a look in that bucket at the moment, to be quite honest. <laughs> I, I, I trust you. Over the next half hour, the lads scoff down frog's legs and snails, Polish raw haddock, Dutch salted herring, English jelly deals, and haggis wrapped in pig stomach from Scotland. With two dishes left, Carl makes a choice. What do the Mexicans have on offer? This is the world's me, most deadly. No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is a sorry. dish with a snake in its tail. Are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> Do you want to see what's inside it? After closer inspection of the scorpion, Skipper Warren opts for a red card. The objective is to eat that scorpion. Does your captaincy depend on it? Yes, it does. Can the gaffer change his mind? Balls of a mountain goat. <laughs> Ricky ends up looking for divine inspiration to help get the crawler down. Close your eyes, you know where you're going, you know where you come from. I come from India, man, I don't come from Mexico. Good man, good, good. It's still in your mouth, I can see his tail. <laughs> See the tail coming out of me. <laughs> well done. Go. Next up is Carl. Can he keep this one down? <laughs> no, he can't, and Ricky gets an impromptu shower. What was that? All the players have avoided a red card and a match ban, but one last dish remains. We'll find out later how they cope with Japan's idea of a light snack. One player who's escaped the horrors of match donkey is striker and fourth time man of the match, Sam Diamond.
Tonight, he and his girlfriend Alice are being treated to a Premier Footballers' Night In. A well-deserved treat after he scored a blinding goal against Hendon Town last Sunday. I was surprised to get a man of the match this week, actually, because the game on Sunday, uh, I missed far more chances than I usually do. And it uh, was actually pretty hit and miss. But I scored one nice goal, uh, worked hard for the team, uh, did my best as I always do, and Gaffer just felt it was my turn to be rewarded, I guess. So what does every Premiership footballer need when they're chilling out at home? Good Hello. evening, sir. Good evening. My name is Hardwick. <laughs> I'm your butler for the evening. May I bring this in? Of course you can. Welcome, Hardwick. Thank you very much. Welcome to my humble abode. It's very pleasant, sir. Alice is through there and she's thirsty. Alice, this is Hardwick. <laughs> Good evening, madam. <laughs> good evening, madam. My name is Hardwick. I'm your butler for the evening. That's the champagne's not a bad way to start the evening. Wow. Very good. Wow. Very good. 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 Very good
you get your say at the end of the show. La Coste pour Femmes, Fragrance for Women. Tondos. Go on, one more won't hurt. This Saturday, get the first of three hits of the Decade CDs free inside the Daily Star. From the 80s to the 70s to the 60s, listen to classic songs from The Birds, Cindy Lauper, Meatloaf, The Bangles, and many, many more. Start your collection with this great 80s CD, free for every reader inside Saturday's Daily Star. KFC Spicy Zinger Salad, only $2.99. At Homebase, we're hammering down prices on our biggest ever range of Flymo lawnmowers. Like on this new rotary petrol mower, only at Homebase. The things I do to hydrate my skin. At least keeping my hair and scalp hydrated to doddle. Head and shoulders hydrating smooth and silky. It gives your hair three types of hydrating ingredients and washes away 100% of flakes. Soft, shiny, no dandruff hair. Ta -da! Head and Shoulders Hydrating Smooth and Silky, one of seven shampoos to suit your hair type. Invent one for my skin, please. Quench your thirsty hair for free. Visit headandshoulders.co.uk for your travel-sized bottle. Sanex lets your skin breathe. Your clothes let your skin breathe. And your deodorant? Sanex effective deodorants that let your skin breathe. Sanex healthy skin. Elle has come out of hiding. Now, we're on. Time to get messy. Outlaws will become heroes. You might get a wee bit dangerous there, sugar, but... Once upon a time in Mexico. Mental will buy it now. Women, don't expect any help on a Thursday. Nuts, the new magazine for men. This week, only 60p. Still working on that figure or dream? Forget it. Fat is where it's at. Bounty fat rolls. Think you'll find a fatter roll? Fat chance. Real life stories of those who have been to the very edge and lived to tell the tale. Makes you realise how delicate life is. Extreme. Starts March 20th at 9, only on Bravo. This is a real dangerous position. They've got to come out the post. Coming up on Fashion Who's Football Challenge, Flash's feast is an eyeful. You must eat one eyeball each. And the league hopes are on the line. Collins is probably going to be sent off now. Back at Fashy's feast, Ricky, Carl and Warren have munched their way through all sorts of unpleasant dishes from footballing nations around the world. The final and worst dish has been left until last. Okay, guys, well done. You've got through all the countries. None of you have refused to eat a dish, so none of you have received a red card as of yet. We have one more country for you. Let's see if you can guess what it is. <clears throat> oh, Japan. Sushi. Rick is yeah. right with sushi, 
But what part of the raw fish will it be? Bit of a gooey dish, this one. It's an eye. You must eat one eyeball each. These things explode, don't they? Warren attempts to steer the eyeball into submission. That is a big test. That is a massive, massive test. Look it in the eye. Go <laughs> on. Well, that's wonderful, Warren. Just Thank an you. eye. <coughs> Just eat it. Straight in. 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 Straight well done, Warren. After the skipper's good example, it's Ricky's turn for a bit of tonguing. The first time you want to taste it is when it's in your mouth going down. This is a delicacy, yeah? Yes. Oh, that is gross. Well done, Ricky. Well done, Ricky. Well done, Ricky. Well done, son. And that's why you will be playing on Sunday. Yes. Well done, son. Uh, redeemed yourself, you have, Ricky. Yet again, Ricky avoids the red card. But what about Carl? <laughs> He certainly doesn't like the look of it. It's got veins and everything. Hey, listen, it doesn't, it doesn't taste of anything. That's the thing. Doing stages, Carl. You've done the first stage, uh, mate. Don't be a bitch, take it down. What do you mean, don't be a bitch? I wouldn't be if it weren't for you. Just take it down. <laughs> Stop being a bitch. bitch. Shouldn't even be here anyway. Carl. That's the morning. Carl, that's the first uh, stage. Yeah. You can't match that seat of Carl without you. The second stage is putting it in your mouth. The third stage is biting it. I'm not going to do that. Put it in your mouth. Just see what it feels like in your mouth. Thinking about the match ban, he has another try. A reaction is a reaction. Think about it, think about it, focus, focus on it, focus on it, good man, come on! Come on, Diddy, come on! Come on, Diddy! Quiet, focus, focus on what you need to do. Everybody else be quiet. Can the gaffer's wise words keep think him in next it. Sunday's game? Think about it, stop saying you can't, be positive. Turn those negatives into positive. There's nothing you can't do, P. Diddy, nothing, son. Nothing. No, 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 I ain't gonna let you give up like that. P. Diddy, you ain't gonna just give up like that. No. I don't wanna hear no. I can't. I don't like it. They're all negatives. Come on, hey! Well done! Come here, son, little man. <laughs> hey. Little P. Diddy has done it, meaning all three have avoided suspension from Sunday's match. Um, I can't even explain how I'm feeling. It was like that tonight was the worst experience, but in a sense, it was the best because I had to conquer some fears. But I'm just speechless at the moment. P. Diddy. 
what is he? Five foot one, four foot three, I don't know. But tonight, he was the star. It shows that he's got real strength of character. It shows that he knows where he's come from, he knows where he's going. I thought at one stage, Carl was going to get a red card, but again, he, uh, he listened to what the gaffer was saying, picked up the eyeball, put it in his mouth and ate it. I haven't spoken to Carl about tonight. I don't think he wants to talk to me ever again. Uh, I don't blame him. Um, I think the guy probably hates me. But there you go, that's what Flash FC is all about, making friends and uh, not making friends. It's Sunday, match day, and before Flash FC can kick off their match against Highgate Albion, there is a little manual work to be done after the previous night's heavy rain. I stop, everyone stop. The last time Fash FC played Highgate Albion, they threw away a 3-1 lead at half-time, resulting in an embarrassing 3-0 draw. Now with their pride and the league at stake, everyone knows that nothing short of a win will do. We played really badly against these guys last time. We were 3-0 up at half-time and we just lost it. We drew and people, some people were happy, but I just thought it was two points lost, three points lost even. Um, but we've got to make amends. We need to win today. All our games are important for us to win, and this is where it starts. All the hard work starts now. If you're going to draw, you may as well lose. Um, third is the worst position we really want to end up in. Hopefully second, outside chance, we can still win it. Um, but it starts today, it starts here, and uh, it has to be a win. Every game now is a cup final. We must win these. We can't afford to draw. If we draw, we might as well just pack up and quit now. So with the pressure on, the gaffer has had to choose his strongest side. And while some of the bench sitters seem resigned to not playing... Uh, well, the only way I'd probably get a game today if uh, something happens to Stu. So I'm ready. Uh, hopefully Stu won't get injured. But if he does, I'm ready to come off the bench and uh, do a job for the team. Others just don't understand his decision. I'm fit. I want to play, score goals. I just can't understand why I'm not playing. A lot of people say to me, stop me in the street, stay in the forums, on the websites. Phillips used to be playing every week. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm obviously the best player in the team, but I'm not... After 11, I'm definitely in the top 11, and I'm 100% sure of that. And it just gets to you every time when you're travelling, you're thinking about it all the time. And it just frustrates you, really, there's nothing else I can do. So just turn up, you know you're on the bench, and just carry on with it. But one frustrated bench sitter who did question the gaffer's decision was Sean Bella. He's had a long-running feud with Fash, which finally came to a head at training. Where do you want to play? Gaffer. You make the sheet, you decide, you're decided. the manager. Okay, yeah, fine, then drop me. Fine, drop me. Drop me. He's now decided that it's time to let bygones be bygones. Morning, Shawnee. All right, uh, basically I just wanted to apologise for my character uh, on Wednesday. I hope hopefully you probably see that I am passionate about the game. And today I made mistakes and I just want to just, you know, rectify them. Well, you know, Shawnee, the game is all about emotions, it's all about passion. You didn't say anything out of order at all. You said how you felt. You know me, I'm a football man through and through. So I like people with passion. I like that. No, well done. And yeah. I respect that, that you come up and you actually come to say sorry. I respect that. Put it behind us and let's go on with the game. Well right. done. I'm only apologising to sort of like create a sort of, a, sign, a kind of like calm within the storm. Um, I'm not the kind of person that can sort of like continue something ongoing. And I wouldn't want there to be any kind of bad intentions within a unit like this. At the end of the day, we're a team and nothing worse than trying to, you know, you can't even speak to your manager or he can't even speak to you, you know. At the end of the day, I, I, I respect him as a player, I respect him as a manager and all I want him to do is just respect me as a player. I'm not somebody who takes any of these situations personally. You know, if it's for the better and for the best for Fash FC, then do it. Not everybody likes Fash, but then I'm not here to be liked. I'm here to try and get a good, successful team. And the same with Sean. Whether he likes me or whether he doesn't like me, I just say respect us. And that's all he's done. So I'm very happy with that. So with harmony restored to Fash FC, will the lads keep it together long enough to kick Highgate Albion into touch? Still to come on Fashion News Football Challenge, it's desperate times in the league for Fash FC. We're getting great play by Fash FC. Oh, Jamie Hinchliffe. And can they claim those three crucial points? Four! Just wide with the shot, and these boys can't believe it.
been an accident. Milk truck's turned over. There's milk pouring out everywhere. Oh. I'll call the police. Why? I'm going to pay. Obviously, another Kellogg's Crunchy Nut. And it is ludicrously tasty. There's been an accident. They're over there. Here on Pricedrop.tv, where the price on this Black & Decker drill has dropped from £129 to 58 quid, Less than half price. Price lock. It's all over, and everyone pays the lowest price of £58. Next to Maurice Lacroix watch. OK, everyone. Back in 30 seconds. The price is dropping over on Channel 636, and it'll keep dropping until everything is sold. So if you want to save money on homeware, jewellery, electricals and more... 10 seconds. Isn't it time you dropped in? Pricedrop.tv. How low will it go? Drop in and shop on Channel 636. They will destroy a city just to get to you. Your only chance is to get to them first. Xbox Gamer Gold Award. Game of the Month, official Xbox magazine. XBM says 10 out of 10, you must own it. Who should you trust? How should you fight? Make your choice. Face your future. Deus Ex Invisible War, out now. It's good to play together. Free inside this weekend's Mail on Sunday. 15 legendary tracks from the world's greatest classical performers. Get your fabulous Classical Legends CD free inside every copy of this weekend's Mail on Sunday. KFC Spicy Zinger Salad, only $2.99. Extra lows at B&Q mean low prices on all petrol garden power tools just got lower. Save £30 on this Mountfield petrol mower. It's just £169.98. And the low price of this petrol chainsaw just got lower. It's just £114.98. Save £20. Extra lows. Our low prices just got lower. Mmm, that smells bad. Hang on, I've got an idea. <gasps> no! <laughs> Fortunately, there's Glade Touch and Fresh Bathroom. Mmm, that smells really nice. Touch and Fresh Bathroom from Glade, breathing life into your home. Stuff always slips down the plug hole and gives you slow running water. It's kitchen hell. But now, there's Mr. Muscle Active Foamer. It's two liquids combined to create a powerful foaming force that'll clear the whole pipe and take you back to kitchen heaven. Mr. Muscle Active Foamer. Bravo presents a knockout season of shows dedicated to the harder side of life. Hard, Monday to Thursday at 10 on Bravo. The final trick of the day. Coming up on Fashion Who's Football Challenge, it's make or break for fashion, the lads. And Pereira's header just goes over the bar. We've had the wind against us, and it has been a hard battle. And the phone line's open as you vote for your Fash FC favourite. <laughs> Kick-off is imminent, but right-back Ricky has turned up with an injury and a quick replacement needs to be found. Sean, stand up, son. I want something from you, son, today. By sheer fate of God's wisdom, you're back in the team. How you pulled it off, I don't know, son, but you're there. You're going to give me 100%. You're going to give it all to me today. Highgate Albion. There's nothing else but winning. A draw, a defeat. You won't see me after the game. Or Mace. Pack your bags and leave, lads, because it's all over. We have to win. Anyone who thinks they're too nervous or they don't like the pressure, stand up now and get the hell out of here. Who are we, lads? Come on! Who are we? While the lads get themselves psyched up, Sean's raring to go. 
I feel great and um, I'm going to go out there and give it 110% today. You're going to see a different player today and I'm um, very confident and I'm, 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 up, I'm really, really up for it. Here we go then, Highgate Albion to kick us off and underway. The yellow and blue striped shirts, they're attacking the goal away to our left and it's Fash FC in the famous white strip attacking the goal to our right. Determined to make his mark. Jamie H sees a gap in the defence. Hinchliffe, offside flag stays down. Jamie Hinchliffe is in on goal here. First chance and John Goff is equal to it. John Goff there with that funny looking hat and he got down low and he was equal to Jamie Hinchliffe's shot. Never in doubt there. Despite a lacklustre performance so far, the subs are confident of a good result. Yeah, I think we can turn this over. I think we can win. Um, certainly if it goes in at half time, nil nil, the gaffer will have some stern words, some strong words to say to the boys because Quite rightly, before he said to, before the game, we need to win this. We can't afford to draw. We can't afford to lose. We need to win it. It's vital that we get three points here today. But Fash FC are on the defensive. It's Darren Wade now, and oh, Stuart Collins has brought down Darren Wade. He came a long way out of his area, and I think he's hurt himself as well. Jamie Spaniel checks if he's okay. Stan Rosenthal, the referee, calls Collins over. Surely he's got to go. For what appeared to be a professional foul, Stewart amazingly gets off with just a free kick against him. Well, this is a real let-off. Here's the player manager, Paul Leach, for Highgate Albion. Stuart Collins remains on the field here to try and stop this going in. Here's the whistle. Here's the free kick. And that one, really a wasted opportunity there for Highgate Albion. Out it goes. Corner kick. While the drama goes on at one end of the pitch, things are looking bad for Pat. Well, I think Pat McCarthy's hurt himself here. Supermodel Pat is brought off with a hamstring injury and Carl P. Diddy Denny takes his place. And Fash FC are back on the offensive. Here's a chance now, Jamie Hinchliffe in on goal again. Great play by Fash FC. Oh, Jamie Hinchliffe, probably the best chance he's had on his favoured right foot. He took it early, the goal he made himself big. But Hinchliffe must hit the target there. The half-time whistle blows, and the lads know they should be in front by now. 0-0 at half-time, we're not playing too well, we're losing it in the midfield, just not enough. Jamie H. I apologise to the team. No, don't apologise to the team, Sam. No, don't apologise to the team, it will come. You're in the right place at the right time. At the moment it ain't happening. You don't have to apologise, son. You're doing everything you expected of you. You just keep going. Sometimes it just ain't going to happen. No, I feel like I'm letting the team down. That's three, four you chances You ain't together, letting the it? team down. Not at position. all. You ain't letting the team down. Of course you aren't. Sean, well played. Sort those throws out. But well played. Sam, I want to get Sam in it more. Because if those chances had gone to Sam, we'd have been, what, 3-0 up now. We have to win. We're making them look good by not playing. First half, we, we, we agree. We've had the wind against us. And it has been a hard battle. 45 minutes we've got, get ourselves a couple of goals. The second half is off and underway then here, it's going to be Fash FC with the win behind them, attacking the goal away to our left, which is patrolled by John Goff, who so far has had a blinder. Jamal Perara wins possession now for Fash FC, first chance of the game, the flag goes up on the far side, play continues, Bowman! Oh, and Goff again is proving a real thorn in the side here of John Fash and his team. The gaffer can only look on in frustration, but super sub Jason is never without an opinion. We've got to win this. There's no point playing. No, we don't want to draw. I'd rather push all the forwards up and lose 3-0 than, um, than draw today. We've got to win or nothing. Jamie Spaniel with the corner, and Parara's unmarked, and Parara's header just goes over the bar. Well done. Well done. Another chance lost, and the gaffer decides to make a change. The Welsh wonder is brought on to replace Jamie Spaniel, who's had a frustrating game. I had a mere first half, I had an absolute diabolical uh, game. The win went open first half, but again, second half, I've come on and I've been dragged off 10 minutes after. So uh, it's disappointing for me because I know what I can do, and it's just one of them off days today, so roll on the donkey, I suppose. Despite having all the possession in this half, the lads just can't seem to score. Hits it again, fifth chance, his bottom score, he passes to Diamond. Well, he opted not to shoot there, Hinchliffe, and you just get the feeling his bottle's gone, and who would blame him? Bad day at the office for Hinchliffe. Sub, sub, yeah. And I think that's his afternoon all over now. So the gaffer makes his third and final substitution. Yeah, I've done all right, I just missed chances. Um, that's the thing, missed the chances. So um, it'll come though, I've got confidence in my own ability. A little bit late for this game, Jamie. I get Albion forced inside their own area, and. The man there, Denny, falls over, he's blocked it down, Wars in the middle, unmarked! 
and the goalie stops him. Whoa! Just oh! wide with the shot, and these boys can't believe it. Yeah, we've got five minutes left. Still nil-nil. Nil-nil's not good enough. I, I, I'm amazed we haven't scored already. Like we've been, it's been total domination on the, uh, for Fash FC, and um, I'll be crying shame it's only nil-nil at 90 minutes. And there's more bad news for the gaffer. Sam Diamond is injured, but he's used up all his substitutes. You struggling? Okay. We haven't got any. We haven't got any. Yeah, Stevie, Stevie. We haven't got any. We've had a three. We can't have any more. That's it. We're three. Sammy, gone. Sam, just stay up front and be a target. Don't move. Just stay up front. But Sam feels he's unable to continue and takes right, himself Sam. off the field of play, leaving Fash FC down to ten men. Uh, hamstring and groin injury. Uh, it's been nagging me all the way through the second half, and it's got to the point where I can't even carry on. So. Not risking it. So an understrength Bash FC have time for just one last desperate attack. Last throw of the dice here. It's Jason Phillips who flicks it forward. War and war. This could finish it. War. Oh! John Goff again. They head it back forward to war. And Highgate Albion here are stopping Fash FC at every opportunity. But their efforts are all in vain as the 90 minutes are up. Well, Warren Moore smashes the ball away here as the full-time whistle blows. A frustrating afternoon for Fash FC. Goalless it finishes, and that, I'm afraid, is the face of a manager who has just kissed his chances of winning the Hendon and District League goodbye. Full-time score here at Claremont Road after Warren Moore misses chances and Jamie Hinchliffe misses plenty of chances. Fash FC nil. Highgate Albion nil, and that, I'm afraid, could be the end of their league title dream. Oh, poor result, nil nil. Disappointed, very disappointed. Devastated, devastated. So many chances, should have scored, didn't. But let's just hope the results, other matches, goals for us, because we need to win this league. Nothing we can say, lads. We had the chances, we know we had the chances. I don't think we can say that we played badly, because we didn't play badly. Second half, we were all over them. Should have wrapped it up. Individual opportunities. Jamie, could have had a hat-trick there. Another day, hopefully it would have gone in. Warren at the end. There's nobody more sick than what I am right now. We're all feeling sick, so we all. there's no point bollocking and screaming and shouting. We're not out of the race. <coughs> Looked at some of the other results coming in. We're not out of the race. It's just slowed us down a little bit. We got a win, lads. We got a win. I'm disappointed that we didn't win today's match. Because today's match, we should have won. There's no question at all about it. But you know, it's only one match. And the game of football, sometimes you lose, sometimes you win, and you draw. You've got to be able to be prepared to take either one of the three. It's not the end of the world. Next week, we'll be here, and hopefully we'll be winning. After a depressing result, it's time to find out who to praise and who to punish. Well done today. Again, down to politely individual errors, really. Just didn't score enough goals. We are still in the race. And while there's a little light at the end of the tunnel, we're going to keep on going full steam. Man of the match. Someone very new, shall we say, to my good books. Somebody who played surprisingly well. Sean, you are man. <laughs> you will be coming with me Thursday night. Premier Startsky and Hutch. <laughs> Match Donkey. Somebody I think is disappointed in his performance today. Jamie Inchcliffe, you are match donkey. Uh, not surprised, really. Didn't have my chance. It's very frustrating, but that's life, isn't it? I came in this morning with my head down, and I was thinking, oh, I wonder what it's going to be like with me and the gaffer. But, uh, you know, I apologise to him, because at the end of the day, I'm a respectable gentleman, and I think he saw that. Man of the match, what can I say? I really appreciate that. At the beginning of the season, the lads found out that they would be competing for the ultimate prize of a convertible sports car. 
In five weeks from now, three players will go head to head in a penalty shootout to find the overall winner who will drive away in a new set of wheels. One player will be chosen by Fashion Mace, another will be chosen by his teammates, but right now, you, the Bravo viewer, can decide who the lucky third player should be. Who has impressed you with their skill, commitment, or controversy? Remember, it doesn't have to be their footballing ability. Get ready to phone or text your vote for your favourite player at the end of the show. To vote for Ladies Man Aaron, call 09013 808 581 or text FASH Aaron to 80088. If Big Man Brenton's your player of the season, add 82 or text FASH Brenton to 80088. If P. Diddy Carl is your favourite, then add 83 to the number or text FASH Carl to 80088. If Colombian superstar Fabian's your man, then add 84 or text FASH Fabian to 80088. If you fancy voting for schoolboy sensation Jamal, add 85 or text Bash Jamal. If you think goal scoring Jamie Hinchliffe's the best, then add 86 or text Bash Jamie. If Welsh wonder Jason's your player of the season, then the number ends in 87 and the text is Bash Jason. Do you want little Lacey to win? Then dial 09013808588 or text Lacey prefix by Bash. If you think new keeper Mark deserves the award, then add 89 or text Bash Mark to 80088. If you want to vote for Cheeky Chappy Mike, then end the number in 90 or text Fash Mike. Is male model Patrick the one for you? Then add 91 and prefix Patrick with Fash. Should star defender Paul win? Then dial 09013808592 and text Fash Paul. If you want to vote for Romeo Ricky, add 93 or text Fash Ricky to 80088. How about Sam the Sniffer? Add 94 or text Fash Sam to 80088. You can vote for Speedy Sean by dialing 09013 or text Sean prefix by Fash. If you think the governor Jamie Spaniel should win, then dial the number with 96 or text Fash Spaniel. If Super Goalie Stewart's going to win, then you'll need to add 97 or text Fash Stewart. To vote for Essex Boy Tony, add 98 or text Fash Tony to 80088. And finally, if you want the skipper Warren to win, call 09013 or text Bash Warren. Or you can vote via our website, www.bravo.co.uk. This Sunday's the big match is at the earlier time of 7pm. Join me, Andy Goldstein, Andy Burton and Caroline Black for exclusive interviews and match drama from Flash FC's tense meeting with Highgate Albion. Jamal, well done! Well done! Then on Monday at 5.30, it's Flash FC Extra Time, with even more gossip, secrets and behind-the-scenes banter. Coming up this week, P. Diddy is peed off. I'm a ball player, I'm going to be playing. And I think I should be playing. And we count down Flash FC's biggest bust-ups. Hey, referee! Do your fucking job! We'll be back next Friday at 10 p.m. for another fashion and football challenge. Can Crash FC hold on to their league dreams? Devastated. So many chances, should have scored, didn't. But let's just hope the results of other matches goes for us because we need to win this league. See you then. Ladies and gentlemen, this is 5 4 hey, five, no. three, Alias is back with a bang. All new Alias Series 3 starts Sunday at 9, exclusively on Bravo. Angel Season 4 is here. Evil's coming, Angel. 22 brand new episodes with eye-popping DVD extras. Add Angel Season 4 to your collection now. Hi, I'm from Elephant.co.